Good afternoon, King of Avalon. This is night 10. How's everybody doing out there? Had a busy weekend, not playing KVK, but I was on a trip. Literally, I think I had about an hour and a half total of game time for KVK. But uh, we were matched up against a number of kingdoms. Uh, one of them was 35. And when I had gone on to game on the KVK... I saw that they had basically taken our throne and we see here about 44 minutes left on Avalon so uh, they did eventually take our throne but I figure I just try to get a little action so we had uh, it looks like the Alliance BRO from K35 we got Blazer here sitting on the East Tower with Mega Garrison and what I had done was I set a uh, Mega Rally on Avalon and so we didn't have many players on but I just thought I'd set that rally and they had about um, a little over 2.1 million we had a rally going mega rally going in of about I think 1.5 I know I think initially we were zapping them a little bit I was sitting on the towers a couple guys sitting on the tower so we dwindled down their troops till about 1.7 1.8 million and that's when I set the rally and I sent the rally and I recalled. You can see our guys going back here. Again, because of the fact that what they did was they replaced, you can see they were replacing all their troops. Their, I think, T10s and down, T11s and T10s down. They removed them and then they had about 440s bringing their 12s, bringing their total Avalon reinforcements to about 2.1 million. That's why I decided to recall. I didn't want a zero, you know, uh, one and a half million of our alliance's troops. So, yeah, I, I, usually I let it hit, but this was a little bit, uh, I believe we're a little bit of an underdog. So what I did was, I, and we can see Milky's here, the leader of K86, and uh, Lord Miguel. This was a gentleman that was sitting on our Avalon. So I think he may have been their top player. Um, really uh, doing a good job of uh, holding down our, our Avalon here. But again, I couldn't really be on game too much. So, um, yeah. So what I did was, <clears throat> we see here, uh, bro, uh, Yakpool. Yakpool, very interesting name, sir. But good to meet you. Uh, he was here on the tower, uh, South Tower. Uh, but later, uh, he, he vacated it. So... I don't have the screenshot of that, but what I eventually did when it was open, I went on to the South Tower. So I took the South Tower, and uh, when I scouted him earlier when he was elsewhere, his stats were, we were about even. He got me on a few, I got him on a few, um, but again, you know, we're really, really close. So anyways, I sat, I sent my full march to the South Tower, and what he did was... What he did was, he actually, uh, um, you see me sitting there on the South Tower, he sent a full march to me, and he sent a full march, and I was uh, concerned, but in the end, I was still able to take the South Tower, and it was really close. I'll show you the numbers here. Uh, not much in difference. I think um, the difference was really in the number of losses. The total troops loss was about the same. I think we're equal. Heroes are the same. We're a little different on our dragon skills. Dragon level is the same. But one thing I did see with my wounded conversion really helped out. So, of course, I had the uh, lifesaver on, life preserver on. But you see, uh, this is what happened. And what I did was I then... Um, actually, what was I? Okay, I reported to recall my troops because they were a weakened... Uh, weekend march and i resent it in and he decided not to hit me anymore but uh in the end k35 did take our throne good job to you guys and it's really about numbers um just a little something about numbers you know I, i've done research before i did statistics and done statistical analysis this and that and what i've done in the past and um it's interesting in, in research when we run data so we collect data we run that analysis we clean the data and we do research, we conduct evaluation, data evaluation, data analysis on research data 
to be able to come up with some type of uh, generalized findings or recommendations, whether it's you're doing research on social programs or even science or medical field, but the purpose is we collect data. And that's why you do surveys and you do observations. You collect all these numbers and you run data. One thing from a data analysis standpoint is we look for outliers because sometimes there's outliers in data, random data points that are really, really far to the right or far to the left. We call them outliers. Of course, statistics is based on this whole, the normal bell curve, right? And that, um, I think, what, 67% is in the, in the main central part of the bell curve. And, you know, when we do data analysis, we're trying to find possible connections, whether it's associations, or correlations between data. But when we run data, uh, we have to really be careful of these outliers. It's not that we completely ignore or delete those outliers, but we take them into consideration when we are uh, running the data analysis and we make a generalized finding. So those of you that are in research, if you pull up research uh, reports, um, journals, you'll find that there's data, they'll talk about the, the background, they'll talk about their data analysis, statistics, and then findings or recommendations from the research they do. Now I'll tell you what, in research, if a group of researchers did this whole data analysis and took these few data outlier points, which is depending on what level of confidence you use, I know that might be kind of out of range or kind of like, what the heck, some of you, what does that mean? But anyhow, when we're looking at, the, we call them P-level, significance levels, you know, the really, 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 really stringent um, Research studies might use a p-level of 0.01 or 0.05, which is 1% or 5% or, you know, even 10% might be acceptable, right? But it would be frowned upon, and if I were to write a paper or produce some type of funding of findings that were based on data analysis of these 0.01, 1%, 5% of my data, my data set, I, I'd be laughed out of the journal or laughed out of the research conference for doing that. I mean, who in the right mind would do data analysis and make these generalized findings against the whole what we call population, we call them the whole population of data, whole population using what we found from this few percentage few percentage points or data points and make these comments or findings or life recommendations or research recommendations, medical recommendations, social program recommendations, merely on those few data outlier points. Now, some of you, this might have just gone over your head, but uh, for some of you, you might have caught on to the fact that, hmm, this kind of sounds like a little bit like what we are doing in the U.S., now, in data, when we do research, we do look at the outliers. It's important to consider the outliers because it's, they're there for a reason. But again, from a research standpoint, from any reputable research publication, if any researcher were to go and make all these findings and recommendations on programs and whatever it may be, merely on those few data outlier points, it would be a complete fiasco from a research perspective. But it's so funny that in our culture, that is what we are seeming to do. And this is a very dangerous thing we're doing. You know, we play this game and, you know, it's basically on a few data percentage points, right? You know, 1% here, 3% there, right? 4% there. But in the end, to merely say that to, if we were to base our gameplay on a few mere percentage points and say it is generalized to the whole game, that, I mean, that would be a joke. I don't know. Just thought I'd do a, yeah, make a little commentary about that because from a social level, in many aspects, even culturally in our country, this is what we're doing now. And we're just going down this dangerous path. Very scary. But anyhow, just thought I'd share my thoughts with you. I uh, didn't do KVK very much, but um, K35, good job to you guys. Good fighting with you guys. Good to see you. Uh, hope all of you are well. If you haven't already.